various customers come back with various usages saying, you know, I want to put the last hot fixes on, I've got some software that I can't let outside my infrastructure, etc., etc. So there are still a vast majority of customers hand building the servers. Okay? Now, when, if you're an HP customer, you'll be using something called Smart Start. If you're a Dell customer, you'll probably be using something called the System Build and Update Utility. So both of those solutions ship with a box, ship with a server, and they contain OS drivers and install scripts. But there's something magical about these DVDs because we put them in the we put them in the server box when we ship it, but by the time they get into the data center, these DVDs often disappear. Now whether they get thrown away with the cardboard packaging or whether they get misplaced and see a few people nodding out there so maybe they've got a few scars on, on where's that driver CD. So no driver CD. Right, go to support.dell.com and spend a little bit of time trying to find the appropriate driver for the appropriate OS with the appropriate system update pack for that driver. So you can do that. But the trouble is, whether you spent a lot of time looking for that missing DVD, mm -hmm. or whether you've gone and spent some time on support.dell.com, you've wasted time, and time is money. Now, what we've done is we've taken all the functionality that's on that DVD, and I'll talk about firmware updates as well that we ship on this DVD, and we've taken that and we've embedded it down to the system board. So that DVD is redundant now. We do not need to ship media in the box anymore. Okay? What we have now is an EFI, a GUI, which lets me do various low-level jobs to the OS, to the hardware. So the obvious one is the OS deployment job. Okay, and if I click that, that takes about 45 seconds to pop up. So I want to go straight to OS deploy. It's going to take about 45 seconds to pop up a menu of the tier one. So tier one is the supported OSs that we put the drivers and install scripts for down onto the lifecycle controller. So even, even if I had that DVD with the machine and I've got DVD driver installed, because again, a lot of customers these days deselect, they don't take a DVD. If, you, if you're on a data center and you're going to rack and stack 201 new servers, quite often they don't take the DVDs anymore. So even if I did have a DVD drive in that one use box, it takes a while to power up my Linux. We run an embedded Linux kernel on that DVD. It takes a while to boot that, a while to get into the GUI. I can get into this menu a lot more quicker than booting from DVD. And look, here's my tier one OSs. Every single one of those has got an install script and a library of drivers behind it for the mass storage devices, for the, for the network devices, etc. So I can very, very simply deploy OSs. Okay? So that's, that's the first part. And that, like we say again, this is unique. This is something that, that, that is kind of a, when we show customers, they say, why haven't you been doing this for years? It's kind of one of those really simple things that we should have been doing for years, but this is unique to Dell. We've engineered this down onto these EWG <coughs> platforms. So again, you know, if I want to, I can configure, configure RAID. Now we've always had the ability to configure RAID inside the firmware, but before anyone who's sat in front of a server or in front of a, 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 a workstation, you have to do a control D just at the right time. If you do it too early or too late, you can't get into the RAID configuration. You have to restart the box. Yeah. So again, you can waste a lot of time. Here is a nice, customer-friendly, streamlined GUI. I can jump in and out of RAID configuration, in and out of OS deploy very easily. And the last thing that we've done, again, a very obvious step, embedded diags. So I do not need a utility partition on the drives because quite often customers take these machines, take a factory fresh server, the first thing they do is wipe the RAID, wipe any work that, that we've done in the factory off these machines. Then a year later they have a problem with the server. They phone up support and support first of all say, okay, we don't know whether it's hardware or software, let's take the box out of service, we want to run a bit of diags on the box. 
Boot from your utility partition, Mr. Customer. And the customer goes, I wipe the utility partition. I have no Diags. So then we waste more time creating a Diags disk or going to support.com and downloading the Diags. Again, streamline that. Ship the Diags on the system board. So any time that you need to run Diags outside the OS, they're embedded. So you get to that scenario where is it the OS, is it the hardware? I take the box out of service, I can run the embedded Diags, make sure it's not the hardware, and then start fault finding my OS stack. But I haven't had to go to sport.dell.com to get any of the Diags. I haven't had to walk into the data center with any media. It's all embedded down onto the system board as part of that lifecycle controller, part of that unique new offering from Dell. So that's, that's the three steps of the lifecycle controller piece. And obviously that complements, the lifecycle controller complements the draft card. So we've had remote management 